Greetings, salutations, respect, and love. Today on the Prog Corner, I'm introducing you guys to Chucky. Yeah, he's going to be my new co-host. I still got him in the box. He's still shrink-wrapped up. I'm a little afraid. See, he's got a little hairnet on still. I'm a little worried he's going to come out of the box and attack me and kill me. So... Maybe we'll just leave Chucky in the box for a minute, okay? I'm a little worried about him getting out and uh, doing some stuff. But uh, anyway, uh, we had a great week last week, didn't we? We ran through your favorite prog albums. Uh, we ranked 105 of them in total, and it was a really, really good time. And uh, some of you guys had come up with some recommendations for what I should do next. And uh, somebody said maybe your top obscure prog album, and that's exactly what we're doing. I want you to give me one album, one obscure prog rock album. It can be from the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, or today. Don't really care. This isn't about stumping Scott. This is about uh, trying to get a nice little database of some lesser known prog albums since that 105 album list that we just did last week had a lot of the more well-known stuff. Uh, but I was really happy with the obscure stuff that you guys nominated. So that's why we're going to do this. Um, I'm expecting there to be a few, I don't know, a few more than uh, the last run. So instead of just uh, doing this for a couple days, uh, I'm going to have uh, nominations open for your number one obscure prog rock album all through the week. Maybe a Friday at five o'clock. We'll call that our cutoff and then I can work on it over the weekend. And then maybe next week we can uh, count down your favorite prog rock albums that nobody's ever heard. It should be a good time. Uh, I'm looking forward to you guys giving me some stuff I've never heard before, uh, expanding my musical vocabulary, my knowledge base. I don't pretend that I know everything. Yeah, I host a YouTube channel called The Prog Corner, but it's not like I know everything. I know a lot. <laughs> I know a little about a lot, but I know a lot about very, very little. So uh, that's your task this week. Put your thinking caps on, guys. Uh, I want your number one obscure prog rock album of all time. And then I'm going to collate them. I'm going to rank them. And I'm going to give everybody credit for their submissions, just like we did last time. But um, we're going to actually take our time and maybe do this thing right. Uh, last week's... Uh, Four-part uh, series was a lot of fun, so I figure we'll do something similar to that uh, on a regular basis because it was really fun and I really had a good time doing it. So anyway, this week I'm looking at maybe uh, uh, maybe reviewing the new Tangent album. Uh, I'm thinking about uh, getting Scott Medina in here and he can give us a rundown on Morse Fest and uh, Cruise to the Edge uh, before he forgets everything that uh, transpired there. Uh, but anyway, I'm back. I had a great, uh, great weekend. I had a great time with the wife. As you all know, it was her birthday and yet yeah, Chucky was part of her birthday. So I've absconded with Chucky. He's mine now. Anyway, I love you guys and uh, I will see you guys soon. And uh, let me know, please, uh, your number one obscure prog rock album. And uh, we'll have a good time ranking them and talking about them. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon. I'm Scott from the Fire Note. You are in the prog corner. And I need you guys to hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Do all those things. Keep growing the channel. Because you guys know you can't live without the prog corner in your lives, can you? So anyway, I'll see you freaks later.